去一。喂。下面给我推来。Oh my god. What? I didn't know you had the camera out. Sure you have, mate. Why do you look like that? that I'm not in the right shape to be doing this. The right shape? Yeah. Can't sit still. Why can't you sit still? I've got food poisoning. What shop gave you food poisoning? Tay shop. Oh? The tea shop. Go on then, tell them how you got food poisoning. I and made, what, and what you learned I from made, it? I made some pork ribs. And I got a bit carried away. I was a bit hungry. So I cooked them for 15 minutes. Say that again. I cooked them for 15 minutes. Pork ribs. He put... Forget whether it's pork or not. He put meat in the oven. For 15 minutes. Do you know that? Did you preheat the oven? No. So he's turned the oven on, put the ribs in the oven, and 15 minutes time later, he took them out and ate them. Worst decision of my life at the moment. Tomorrow, hopefully, it's gonna start going. This brother thought he could come and bang my door at four o'clock in the morning talking about bad belly, like hospital. Like, huh? What did you want me to do? At four o'clock in the morning, go to the hospital, to any for them to tell you that you got food poisoning. You know what's mad? I haven't actually had no sleep at all, like these past <coughs> few nights. Like, I haven't gone to sleep. I've had about two hours of sleep during the afternoon. So, what are you gonna say to your friends, them that think they can cook? Good luck. You're not gonna teach them a lesson? The packet, first of all, T, the packet, they didn't pack it, I have no words on the back, no cooking instructions. I had a lot of words, that's why I didn't read it. So you thought you'd they cut need, corners? They need to make it more simple. You know? <coughs> so you thought you'd cut corners? Yes. And which part of you thought that a, a rib would take 15 minutes to cook? Because Lidl's ones take 20 minutes. It's not like bacon, big man. Yeah, but Lidl's take 20 minutes. So, you... <laughs> so you think everything's 20 minutes? Well, so we've had pizzas like 20 minutes. Pizza is dough and a piece of cheese. But boom. On a real serious note here, Tay's not really doing YouTube at the moment. He's concentrating on his studies. I'm going through what I'm going through. So that's why we haven't been as consistent as we was. And we apologise. I apologise for that. But... Life was going away a little. But on this topic here, it was important. It was important for us to come in front of the camera and talk about this. Dad. What happened? Why is it so serious? Big man. But no, that the way you're talking, like, it's so, like, serious. No, no, real. Why I'm serious about it is because it, 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 there's so much emotion because I have children. Yeah. It's so, there's so much emotion behind it. And it's not even just because I have children, I just feel like it was such a waste of my life. But big and serious though, T, it's things like this that can kind of help a situation because I feel like your generation is lost and everyone's quick to blame the kids. You know how like, Everyone says that our generation's lost, you know? Mm. Did, did your older generation not say your generation's lost? No. Not lost like you lot. You lot are lost, lost. Let me give you an example. The normal average person doesn't think when they wake up, I'm going to go outside and put a big long zombie sword or what are they called? Zombies. 
doesn't matter what it's called, zombie sword, uh, whatever they're called. Their first thought is not to, ah, I need to walk out my house with a sword. You're already waking up negative. Before you've brushed your teeth, eaten crunchy nuts, your mindset's negative. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Lost. And, <clears throat> like I was saying, everyone's quick to blame you lot. Everyone's quick to blame the kids. But where are we? Where's the parents? Where are the adults? Where are the, where's the big peoples right now? I mean, it's not really the parents. It kind of is, in a way. Do you want me to know? Do you want me to tell you why? No. You see this boy that's killed this girl. Mm. I wonder if an adult, because he might not be with his parents, I don't know his background, but I wonder if they've had a conversation about rejection. Have they? Have has he? Has, has somebody sat down and I say to you like I'm going to say to you now, Tay? Ego, pride, especially for men with testosterone and whatever else's chemicals are flying through our body. You see rejection. To suffer rejection, sometimes, man, them, man, them, man them can think that guys have bruised ego or their pride or it's a shameful thing. But rejection is rejection at the end of the day. Not everybody's supposed to like you. Do you see where I'm coming from? But it's how you deal with that. It's, it's, so if you go to check a girl and the girl says no, what, she, you box her in her face because she said no? No. Huh? No. How would it make you feel? Well, Has I, it happened to you? Yeah, I've been rejected. How did it make you feel? Uh, to be honest, I didn't really care. Because? Like... Like, it was like kind of like a, a funny thing. Okay. But, but. But what about if there's a girl that you really liked, but she said, no, I'm not in it? How are you going to deal with that? I mean, me personally, every situation I have, to say it is where it is. And then I don't really care about that. Like, it doesn't really bother me. But you know what's mad? Actually, no, that's not on top of it. Like what? Don't, what's on your mind? No, I was just saying that the girl who rejected me, I haven't rejected her. You then rejected her? Yeah. Yeah. But, it's by, but the healthy way to deal with rejection is by saying it is what it is. Move on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Not getting your feelings and what do you mean or now you want to become an aggressor do you know what I mean or you're going to use violence and, 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 and to be honest with you using violence against the girl anyway what, 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 would, that, what would that achieve it's going to push her further away no yeah but I think it just depends on your social groups I don't really think it's the parents because no 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 I'm not saying it's just the parents but parents have to be held accountable as well Adults have to be held accountable. We can't just blame you, the children. Yeah, but because without teachings, how do you how do you know something without the knowledge? Obviously, yeah. Like parents, like you take a part into <coughs> what I do in my life. Mm. But I don't do like certain stuff because I feel like. There's better ways of that. I wouldn't. I I know everyone knows. Everyone around me knows. I'll never sell drugs, even though whoever, whoever. I, I don't mind. I don't care if the person I'm with sells drugs. I'll never sell drugs. Cause I feel like it just don't get you know. Innit? But that's because not because you told me that. I don't. I shouldn't sell drugs because I decided not to sell drugs. Yeah, and, and, and for you being your own person, and I'm, proud, and I'm proud that you think that way and you have your own strong mentality and you're not going to let somebody come and groom you or head top you into thinking that selling drugs is the way out of anything. And I'm glad that you have that strip. But the fact of the matter is, Tay, if you didn't live in a secure, in a secure settings with parents that 
love you and, and try to guide you in the right way, your mentality wouldn't have been like that. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, true. It, it, I, it I helps. Like I would sell drugs if I didn't live with you. What? I feel like I would sell drugs if I didn't like, have you in my life. Because. because it can be sold to you. And this is the thing, and this is what happens with, with, with the younger generations. Someone's going to sell you that dream. Someone's going to tell you that, well, I'm selling drugs, you're going to bust, you're going to... It's all right in the moment. It's all right in the short, with the shortcut in the moment. But psh, that life is no life. I feel like as well when you said social circles. Mm. It's true, and so Tay, let me ask a question. Yeah. Your bridging, your you, you, your bridging, comes to you in the morning. Said you want to come and go out. Mm. He's got a big sword on him. Mm. What do you think you should do as your as, as, as his friend? Well, what what should I do? Or what do I do? What would you say to him, as if you're his friend? Slam the you do. So you don't think that you have a responsibility as his friend to say to him, well, big man, what are you doing? Why do you need that? Yeah, but there's also reasons why people carry knives. Uh, like, and it's not even just for that. Like, and, and and that's true. But, but for your circle, for how you want to be, for who you put yourself around, I would do... Do you know what I mean? Like, what can you what can you do in your social circles to make your social circles better? Because ultimately, as his friend, you can talk to him. He might not want to hear you. If he don't want to hear you, it's for you to take yourself out of that situation now. Just where I'm coming from. Because everybody's going to carry and do what they want to do. But I've always made you grow up knowing is if you put yourself in a situation or around people that want to carry knives and they get into a situation, it can cause a headache for yourself. Do you understand where I'm coming from? So it's bothering that you speak up and say to your bridge, you're like, oh, boom, bam. Because nothing's going to change unless you lot try and help change it as well. Mm -hmm. Because what happened on that, what happened to that, that girl? That is a parent's nightmare come true. And my heart goes out to the family because I don't even know where they begin to, 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 to even challenge this, to even accept this has happened, to even, I don't know. I don't know what barrel of lust I would be in right now. And the one thing I need to, I, I need to really, for myself when things like this happen as a parent is, how would I deal with this? Because not all parents out there Trust the law, first of all. And this ain't no bad man talk. This is just a, a father's love for his child. What position have you put me in now? Because you know what it is? Mm. My social group will never think of stabbing a girl. Like, like... From from what I know, people don't like they're not out there carrying knives to harm like random people. Like it's to act like it's to obviously people have problems with people and people go to certain areas and people, certain areas come to this area. Like there's reasons why people carry knives. But do you think they're justified reasons? Do you think that... Do, do you not see why I say that your generation is lost? Because you lot will kill each other for... N not even a... Not even a ludicrous reason. Like, back in the day, yeah, there would be gang wars, yeah? Mm. And you can kind of understand there's a warped reason there. Does that make sense? Because it's still warped. A gang, uh, uh, killing somebody is still a warped thing. What's That's that? my warped? opinion. What's warped? Like, it's a deluded, it's a mad thing to do. To, to, to kill somebody because they're part of a gang. 
Do you understand where I'm coming from? Like nobody's special. Nobody sh can take her life. Yeah, but I feel like it's deeper than that, though. In what sense? Like people come that. See how like areas have problems of areas, but they're like the older generation. Mm. But then it goes down to the younger generation because mm. the younger generation start getting groomed into the older generation. Like they start to get older, mm. and now you got problems with the other younger generation going up into the older generation. Oh, so you're saying? So what you're basically saying is, let's say Junction. Let's say Junction was beef in Brixton. Like Mitchum, yeah. But Back in the day, it's still ha that same that same ethos or that same yeah. hatred for that area is still there now because it's yeah. gone through generations. Yeah, because okay. people are getting brought up into the same beef. Okay. And then obviously they're same age group for that area. But it's still walked on it. It's a bit. It's, it's still a bit deluded, isn't it? Yeah, no, okay. that, that our that our communities, our communities, are in in effect, our communities are are killing our own. Yeah, no, I don't get gang like banging for a gang. I get selling drugs for people, innit? Because there's hundreds, a lot of people don't have no other. Well, they seem like they have no other choice, innit? Like. They don't see no different. The back's against the wall. Yeah, so it's just like... But... Like, everyone knows that I don't need to... Like, I, I don't need to be out doing all that type of stuff. I can make money in different ways. So, on a real, how did it make you feel? Did you, did you, did you stop... When you heard about the girl that got stabbed on the bus, yeah? Mm -hmm. What was your conversations like with your friends? You didn't talk about it. You didn't talk about it? Yeah. How did you feel when you heard about it? Did, was it just everyday news that you just bypassed you? Like, it was just the news, isn't it? Yeah, it just was. Or did it make a, you think about it? It was all over Snapchat. Mm. The only conversation I had is because one, one boy I know, like I've actually been with before, got framed for it. Like, that like some girl must have, like, fate, like, said that it was him on Snapchat. Mm. Even though it wasn't, so everyone thought it was him. But then it came out that the guy who actually done it just got arrested. Mm. So then now um, that's the only time I ever spoke about it. It wasn't everyone's Snapchat stories in that though. But I had few poison at the time, so I had. Of a problem in your mind. I wouldn't even I haven't even been on social media like that recently. If I'm be honest, I haven't really spoken to anybody. So what do you think's needed moving forward? What do you think what do you think what do you think what do you think we can do as people to not make these tragedies happen? Because I don't send you out to school mm. in the morning mm. ever thinking I'm gonna get a phone call to say my son's not here no more. Do you understand where I'm coming from? I send you out to school to go and get your education and come home. How How is there effective change? Because it's all right, talk, talk, talk. But how do we effectively change this? Well, I think better older, olders. But when I say older, I don't mean like you. Mm. Because like, you can only do so much, like, mm. by telling me something. And sometimes I won't be like, oh, he's just talking for the sake of it. But like, don't, don't take that in offensive but, yeah. but but then like all the people who like I'm around there like they'll like they'll tell me the same thing like it's not nothing nothing it's not none of it's worth it but a lot of youngers probably do it for ratings like but I don't feel the need to be rated, but even though... Yeah, but why is it that kids, do, why is it you, you can't understand or can't hear, especially when people are telling you that they've done that thing? And I'm not even talking about my age, I'm talking about, you've got people that's in jail, that's 20, 20, 20s, that, that are out there on podcasts now talking, saying it's not worth it, like, I wasted my life, like... But, 
To be fair, I don't even really listen to that myself because it's more the people you actually know personally who are telling you like, like I was at a, at a party last night. Obviously, I'm with my friends and they do their stuff. Mm. There's like, hey, the life is not worth it. Like, don't ever like you ain't got a reason to be outside doing nothing. And they will they will respect me or not. But I don't. But then people want to do something to get a reputation. Whereas. Oh, so you're saying some people that are, that are in a position like yourself would still want to do fuckery just for the reputation. Like, I generally don't think that boy uh, ran out of his house and said, I'm going to stab a girl. Like, I don't think he would stab a girl and not tell anybody about it. Like, he wouldn't go and do that. Like, he wouldn't, he wouldn't go and do the, do the girl and then not tell let, like want nobody to know it happened like I bet he would want like so you're saying he done it for clout no but like it was part of it yeah like so can you see about how woke that is can you see how far out there that is that he left his house he left his house knowing that if he done something with that sword, he's not even going to do it because he's got to get himself out of trouble or out of a situation. He's doing it so that he can glorify it on Snapchat. Yeah, and it's not even like they can go on something very bad person to him. Like, you might see it's like a what situation, but like you, a set a set of boys have done something to your friend that like you might personally have an issue with them now because... You feel like it's a friend, or maybe like as yeah, a but young, she was just protecting her friend. But like, that's what I'm saying. Like she, but she wouldn't have done something so personally bad. Of course not. She never deserved. She wouldn't have even deserved to have, have, have been sworn after. To be honest with you, let alone stabbed. Mm-hmm. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Because it goes back to this. Was was, was she stabbed in the in the process? Or like, was it like built up? I'm not. I don't know the finer details. I just know that she was she was defending her friend because her friend had rejected him. That's 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 that's, that's what's been fed into the media. And sometimes and that's why I don't really want to talk about the actual isms of 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 of, of what happened yeah, because no. I wasn't there. So her best friend posted something on TikTok like. Saying that the media, like, um, like it's not, like that's not the real, f- 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 like, story. But it might have been the best friend who actually was there. I'm not sure. So, the fact of the matter is, is all I need to know right now is that Tay understands that rejection is just rejection. Yeah. It is what it is. You move on. Forget about pride and ego, because pride and ego, clout chasing, gets you in sticky situations. Well, he might have just been mad, stabbed her, and Mental expected health. her not to die. Like, maybe he inflicted... I don't think he wanted her to die. Yeah, but like I said to you, and like I tell everybody... What happened? What's up? We need to wrap this up. What? Hmm? We need to wrap this up. Hmm? Wrap this up. What's, going on? What's wrong? You better do no madness. Madness. Like, I can't sit still. Tell them then. Huh? Tell them. <laughs> Tell them what? Snap it up, dude. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell the auntie's friend, tell the auntie's friend that, yo, Tay Leo, we're doing bits out here. And don't cook ribs for 15 minutes. Then she want to look like this. Peace. Smash.